organization in the world. Time after time, you've seen this girl have fun on stage. Cindy Lauper was one of the biggest stars of the 80s MTV generation. Project could be one that really shows off her true colors, if you will. Her latest CD is At Last. She's got a new DVD out called Live At Last. And here now performing At Last, ladies and gentlemen, Cindy Lauper. We'll be back with another number from Cindy Lauper, but first, this is today on NBC. And we are back with Grammy Award winning singer sensation Cindy Lauper. It's great to have you here. Thank Tell you. me what made you want to do this to pay tribute to these artists that you grew up listening to um more than the artists that i grew up listening to the people that were listening to these songs was more like paying tribute to them because this was their favorite music and these were the people that raised me and they were i got to hear the music through their eyes you know and ears yeah. and um and it's a piece of new york gone by and um, I didn't realize that's what I would be doing until I got into the project. And then I remembered, oh, I, I heard it. This one was listening to it. Oh, this one, I thought I'd die if I heard it again. But, you know, a Tony Bennett was all through our house, you know, day in and day out, because Italian-Americans. Well, you worked with him, when, I obviously. Did. I had to, you know. So what was that like? Wild. It was very wild. But it was one of the best singing lessons I ever got. I mean, he's a very natural singer. He doesn't... I mean, technically, he doesn't use headphones in the studio. He's singing without headphones. So, of course, you know, when in Rome, <laughs> oh, yeah, I could do that, you know. But it, it, was, it was an extraordinary experience. Plus, besides the fact that my mom played it so many times, and, you know, I left my heart in San Francisco. By the time I was 13, I left my heart in San Francisco, my shoes, my socks, everything, you know. Well, you, you reinterpreted a lot of these songs, and the one you're going to play next day is a good example of that. It's made it sort of Latin lounge. How would you characterize it? Well, it's because when I used to visit my cousin in, in Long Island, her mother liked Latin music. And then we would go learn the cha-cha with the grown-ups. And when we got tired of being with the grown-ups, we would go in with the kids and listen to her 45s. 
And if you stood in the kitchen eating, you know, whatever was like cookies and milk or whatever, and and you you heard the song, it's exactly what Stay sounded like in the kitchen between my aunt's music and my cousin's music. The mixture. Music. Yeah, that's what I love it was. It. You can't make that stuff up. No. <laughs> well, let's oh. hear it. Your your reinterpretation of the song Stay once again. Here's Cindy Lauper. Thanks, Cindy Lauper for being here. You're terrific. Thank Someday you. you're gonna have to teach me that, that thing. Yeah. Another time. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow on today, a month away from the election, we've got officials from both campaigns, including Condoleezza Rice, will be one of our guests tomorrow. And we'll put our weekend wannabes to the test and see if they have what it takes to take our jobs. <laughs> so looking forward to that. I know. I hope they're not too good. Thanks for being here. We're gonna catch you back here Sunday. Have Bye -bye. a great day, everybody. has been a presentation of NBC News. More Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world.